Hi guys, welcome to another video. Hope you're having a fantastic day. Got a machine here, just came in a short while ago from uh, a customer who's uh, come from quite far away. They have said that the screen has an issue, so uh, I assumed it will be cracked, which is what usually is most the case most of the time. Uh, but upon having, inspecting it, I'll show you quickly. You can see just there that the screen, it's a, it's a Lenovo, uh, yoga um, yoga 10 now if you look just there in that corner you can see the screen is coming away now these are very expensive screens they're actually touch screen so be very careful when uh, messing around with these it's all right if it's broken because it's amazing just, you know you can be a bit rough with it but this one isn't it's working absolutely fine and um, so I'll just switch it on show that it's the display is good uh, I should power up any second now. There you go. So there's a splash screen. Uh, I'll power it down now. I don't need to switch it on. Now, how do we get this screen out? What's the problem? So you've got a couple of covers here. On there, and that one, 10 to 1, needs to come out. I assume that's got a couple of mics in there. So a hold for the mic, sorry. So I, I assume there's a mic. Mics are behind there, uh, which is pretty good. So I'm going to get try and get these out. So I've just got a little tweezer here. Sorry. Yeah. So how do we get the screen out? So we've got a couple of covers we need to take off. One there, one in the middle, which I assume is for the microphones. Well, it is for the microphone, got two holes there. And you've got one on this side as well. So they've got some other these rubber um, screw covers. So I'm gonna pull them off, keep them to one side. But I'm gonna say, if you don't wanna lose them because it will look a bit odd. There's one missing and there's, you know, one that isn't, so I put them to one side. They are a bit sticky, so but if you want to put them back with a bit more sticky on, you can. And I'll do these screws manual today. I'm not bothered with the electric because uh, yeah, so a couple of screws takes a few seconds. And take this cover off. I should pop off quite easily. And this one. Ideally, you should be using a, a plastic tool, but anyway. There you go, that's taken off. Now, we need to get off this small bezel. I'm gonna use my tool that I use to take off glasses and things like that, so I'm gonna have to twist it around a little bit. Just get underneath there, and we should have access to some clips or something. Yeah, that's not plain board, so I'm going to try and pop it out from the side. Be careful because the glass, any bit of tension and the glass will crack. So be very careful, there you go. So I'm just going to pop that out slowly from the bottom because it goes in. If you look at the top here, there's a few little stubs, so just there, so it goes in like this, it goes in like that. It probably comes out on the bottom, which I've just done. All right, now let's see if we can um, get this glass off. Normally there's like a, on, on screens that are like this, that are bonded into the frame, that there's, there's um, some tape that hangs out on both sides and you pull that tape and that frees off the screen on the back plate, you know, if you ever need to replace it. So I'm just gonna see Let's see what we can do here. So let's go try and it's very loose here. You can see that it's really loose. It's there. So I'm gonna Yeah, it's loose on that side now as well. So oh there is a retaining screw there, so my bad, I didn't see that one. Let's remove that and there you go. That has actually come off and there's no tape which I find really strange. I'm gonna pull this off, this microphone um, board out. I don't wanna damage it in any way. I'm just gonna leave it there for now. I'm gonna take it out. So I'm just gonna get this tweezer. Oops, I don't want to damage the wires, do you, on these? Because it will be a big job. So I'm gonna put that to one side as well. Let's have a look. What is what? So. No, there's no tape. 
There's no tape whatsoever. There is a dent there. I'm just going to push that out just so, so it's uh, well, it's still there anyway. Okay, that's okay. So there's no tape. So what I'm going to do is see why it's. Oh, okay. There's. What's that for? So there's a little metal thing here. Ah, right. So the issue is this little metal piece is bonded on the screen uh, so it should be just there um now let's see what height it's at so we need to line it up i'm gonna go with the other side so i'm gonna go a bit further in so that's how it should be i can't go further than that because the lcd is stopping me from going any further so what i'm going to do actually I'm going to bomb that down. So I've got some special glue. I'm going to apply that glue. That takes about two or three minutes to semi-cure. I don't want to put it on while it's wet. So I'm going to semi-cure the glue, apply this, wait for half an hour or so, pop it back in. Meanwhile, before I do that, I'm actually going to put some bonding on here. These are kind of, I think these are like a, shock proof no, they, they absorb some shock so the, if there's anything on top of the cover because it's metal it won't crack the screen so yeah, yeah that's okay so i've got some uh sort of this solid tape which i'm actually going to cut to size i'm going to put it kind of just there uh, and then um hopefully that will give, give it a bit more strength and you're not relying on just for you're not relying on just the, these uh, these four clips at the top, so because I don't think that they're that they're that good, they should be bonded in. So I'm just going to do uh, this. There must be a reason why Lenovo have decided not to bond it down, and they, they do spend thousands or hundreds of thousands on uh, R and D. Uh, maybe they've missed this bit. So whoever has forgot to put some tape down it needs to be sorted out don't they put that there and apply that piece there so i'm not going to take off the uh tape at the moment the the top of the tape i'm going to cure the glue and then i'll come back and apply the screen So I'll be, I'll just show you the glue that I am I'm going to use. I've got this glue, uh, 29000S. Uh, I can't read the ingredients because it's, uh, it's in Mandarin, I assume. So I'm gonna just apply a little bit here. I don't wanna go too deep because I don't want any screen and glue going into the LCD. I'm just gonna apply that there. And let that it's extremely wet right now. I'd rather have it a bit sticky and then apply the little plate. So uh, yeah, see you in a jiffy. All right guys, it's been about five or six minutes. I'm just gonna check uh, on the glue. I'm just gonna get some tweezers in to see if it's a little tacky. I don't want it to be. Yeah, that's pretty good to know. I'll apply the little clip. Oops, there's a bit of a magnet underneath. Just here, the LCD. Hang out, doing it again. So I'm just going to put it on there. Just going to a little push it down slightly, not not too much pressure. And now I'm going to leave that for a good half an hour. So I left that to cure. For half an hour. Actually, I was working on a PlayStation 5. That is uh, solid, it's solid. It really is, I can't even, no, you can see that I'm lifting it with it. So now I'm gonna actually um, put the, the LCD back in. Before I do that, I need to remove uh, the, the tape. Apply the tape, actually. There you go, this tape is very strong, actually. It's really strong. Um, so even if the, the brackets break, the LCD 
we're not coming away. So we've done our protection now. So the way this goes in is you slightly, um, I don't know if you can see that yet, there you go, you can bring that down slightly and it actually slides into position. Um, you need to make sure that this connection here, the, uh, the, the flex connections do not clear of the uh, frame. So that is now in place. And as you can see, it's now solid. I've put my hand down there, knocking the back of the panel. It's not moving at all. So I'll just put one of the uh, retaining screws in, which is at the bottom here. And this, this actual screen is basically like a tablet. You can flip the screen over and um, yeah, you can turn it around completely. Brilliant. Although I'd rather have a tablet, but you know, it's such an, it's a, you drop this screen and you're in big trouble. So I'll put that back in there, put the cover on. It's got two little guides uh, for the microphone, the two little kind of small nipples that stick out of the, of the plastic. So you can just put it into place. Can't get that wrong. It's actually moving. I'd rather tape it down, but I think it'll be okay once once uh, put the bezel on. So this goes on this side. That again goes in at an angle, so it goes in like this. Well, you don't want to lose those things, so that'd be, be hard push to get them, I think. So I'm going to screw this back in there. It's a, it's absolutely a, it's a terrible manufacturing. Uh, it's a really poor. I mean, Lenovo's stuff is generally pretty good, but this, I think, that is a pretty poor way of manufacturing a product like this, especially the amount of money you pay for them. Um, yeah, I'm not happy. I wouldn't be happy with something. I'd take it straight back to them, but the customer um, wanted to bring it to me because they were, they were, somebody was visiting um, and they wanted it to bring it to me. But, so I'm going to put these in again, you, you, the top, so you just push it down and another successful repair by Amco Tech Repairs. And we'll just make sure the screen comes on before we get the, back, the, the backlight lit up. Uh, you might be able to see that, you may be not able to see that. I haven't even got my light on. Not much different anyway, but yeah, there you go. So that is working absolutely fine. So thank you for watching and uh, we'll be here soon for the next one. Bye for now.